what's going on Space Rangers, thanks again for tuning in. We are uh, checking out Starfield today, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's blast off into it, shall we? What happened to Fast? Okay. Now I'm getting it. Okay, what is there a ladder? Again, I'm using a mouse and keyboard for like the uh, first Stevens. time, so I'm still learning all I this. assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. That just say Captain Steven? Shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Yo, this is so cool. Look at all this. Oh, how awesome. God, space travel would be so cool. It really would be, but like. Also, it's not practical. Wow. What? What? Oh, get me in. I am so in. Uh huh. Nice. The rest is up to you. Up times are awesome. All right. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. No, no more boosts. Necessarily can't power. You can skip the super driver. Um, uh, hold left alt and use W. Uh, Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control okay. our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Uh. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Wow, okay. To boost hit L. Nope. Hit L to boost. Tab. What? Oh, I need to do this. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Oh, okay. So you... 
So your ship has so much. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Oh shit. Um, what? We will need to disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. Difficult, man. Enemy missiles locked on. I don't know how to get out of that. This is crazy. And it's a lot. Um, Also, my gamepad doesn't have G, which is the missiles. Then I have to go back and try to like... I don't know what to do. Ships want to take your slow drop your ship and will explode. Press zero to repair your ship. Um, I don't know how to get out of this.
down. We're over this way. Oh, we're down over this way, okay. There you are. Travel between the stars, zoom out and see the entire star system, zoom out again, see all the stars in the settled system, spot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to, your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer one first. Starship debris. Does that help me? There. Explore. Fast travel is currently unavailable. Are we going somewhere else? I might just call it there because I think my computer froze. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of the beginning of Starfield. I'm not the greatest with mechanics because, again, I am not used to mouse and keyboard, so I do apologize if you're looking for pro players. It's not it. I'm just kind of enjoying myself and, uh, yeah, learning the keys, but I might have to look into a full keyboard. I like the gamepad. It might be better for, like, battle play, um, but as far as, like, exploring and everything, I can't. I don't have some of the buttons that would make things a little easier. So I'm definitely going to be trying to check that out in the future. But anyway, this was just the beginning of Starfield. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, Star Command Steve here. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.